Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to go ahead and look at ourselves a new supporter card. The supporter card has been revealed on the official website. It has been translated by the lovely Antoine Boulet, who is one of our very, very favourites over here. And apparently, it's called Pokemon Breeders Training. It has got an adorable piece of artwork featuring Yampa and Wooloo. And it's a new supporter card that could be really good. Here's what it does. Choose up to two of your Pokemon. For each of them, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon. And put it on top of it to evolve it. You cannot use this card on your first turn. Or choose a Pokemon that you played this turn. What that means is it doesn't cheat the rules of evolution. It's red and blue rather than Wally. You cannot use this to play a card and immediately evolve it up. You have to wait a turn. But it gets two. And what we're looking at here is consistency. Now, one of the cards we've seen recently is Poker Kid. Poker Kid is honestly quite a nice little supporter. It just lets you search your deck for any Pokemon and, and put it into your hand. It's fairly underwhelming. It's far from an exciting card. But it's guaranteed. You get literally anything you want here. Any Pokemon. And so it becomes an actually pretty good card. As weird as that might sound. Well, this doesn't get you any Pokemon. It gets you two Pokemon. But the key here is... You've got to get the basics out beforehand. But imagine this, right? Imagine you're playing a Malamar deck. And we all know that Malamar bricks. We all know that one of the biggest problems with Malamar is... That there's going to be a lot of games where you try playing Malamar... And you would never get set up and then the game ends because your opponent's knocked out all of your Pokemon and you're a little bit sad. We don't want to be in that position, ladies and gentlemen. So what you do is early game, you search out your Inke. Now, bearing in mind, Psychic decks at the moment, they've got both Mysterious Treasure, discard a card from your hand, search for a Psychic Pokemon, and Quick Ball, discard a card from your hand, search for any basic Pokemon. So you get two Inke out and then you play this and all of a sudden you've just got two Malamar. And then you're off and ready to roll. Hopefully you've discarded Psychic Energy using both Mysterious Treasure and Quick Ball. So you can then accelerate with Malamar. And that's kind of my point here. One great combo we've got is actually with Professor Alm's Lecture. Now, it does mean that you're using all of your supporters to draw. But it's not going to stop you using Pokemon Draw here. Playing stuff like Dedenne or maybe even Chinchino. And rolling from there. Because, let's face it, right? <laughs> you can always use Pokemon Breeders Training to search out a Chingino. And then discard a card from your hand and draw two cards. That would work. But what you do here is you play Professor Realm's Lecture. And you search your deck for three Pokemon with 60 HP or less. And you put them on the bench. And then the next turn, you play Pokemon Breeders Training to evolve two of them. Evolution Incense is an item card. That searches out an evolution Pokemon. Puts it into your hand. Life is good. This is two of them in one go. Now it is a supporter. And that's kind of putting me off a little bit. And I know red and blue was a supporter. But here's the thing. Red and blue searched for a Pokemon and evolved it. But if you discarded two other cards from your hand. You search your deck for up to two basic energy. And attach them to your Pokemon. That Pokemon you just evolved. So now you've got energy on the field as well. Comboed really nicely with Weavile. Still does, incidentally. Because Weavile then lets you move your energy anywhere you like. As long as it's darkness energy. So you evolve something like a Silvalli GX. And then move the energy around. Or indeed just evolve into Weavile. And then move the energy around from Weavile to elsewhere. There's a lot to like about red and blue. The problem is, I, I feel playing a card like Pokemon Breeders Training might be locking you into a slower way of playing the game. Because this is not a turn one supporter, even if you go second. What you need to do is get all of your basics, 
then play this. So this card is coming down the turn after you play your basics. Which means you've got to have bought some time. Now maybe you're playing Lily's Polka Doll here. And you are literally setting up behind it and buying yourself some time. In which case, brilliant. Go for it. Good work. Proud of you, buddy. But may maybe not. And maybe your opponent's playing boss's orders and just going around it. And then that's a bad thing. Boss's orders is just a reprint of Lysander. So you can just gust any Pokemon off your bench. So it makes me nervous. Because here's the thing. In a vacuum, this is a great card. It searches any two Pokemon that evolve from your ones on the field. And then just pops them on your Pokemon. It's double evolution incense. But do we want it turn two? Again, if you're using Professor Alves Lecture to get all your basics turn one, and then using this to get your evolutions turn two, what are you drawing cards with? Well, Pokemon, essentially. Or maybe you get all your basics out so it's easy. I can see it being play. I can see it being good. I can see uses for it. I do find it quite nervous, though. Now, here's an interesting point. Does it work for Pokemon VMAXs? Remember, Pokemon VMAXs are evolved Pokemon. Why not? The card reads, according to Antron's translation, choose up to two Pokemon. For each of them, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it on top to evolve it. Well, Snorlax V Max evolves from Snorlax V. So if you've got two Snorlax V on the field, you pick Snorlax V, you search your deck for a card that evolves from Snorlax V, which will of course be Snorlax V Max, you evolve it up, you're good to go. Oh. Yeah, there is absolutely no reason this wouldn't work with Pokemon V Max. I mean, this, this reminds me of the question we had with Triple Acceleration Energy when we first saw Pokemon V Maxes. Oh, it's free colorless energy on an evolved Pokemon. Does that include Pokemon V Max? And as a matter of course here, your answer should always be yes, unless we're told otherwise. Is there anything we're told that would say, oh, no, wait, it doesn't play for V Maxes? Because unless there is something that specifically says, it doesn't work for VMAXs. It works for VMAXs. So that's kind of cool. And I do need to give one more shout out to the lovely Antoine Boulet here. Because I've been referring to this as double evolution incense. But actually, Antoine's made a good point here of, well, we've had plenty of supporters in the past that were double item cards. Did that really see any play? So, for instance, we've got Energy Retrieval that grabs two energy out of your discard pile. But we've also had Fisherman, which grabs four energy out of your discard pile. To be fair, it has actually seen quite a bit of play over the years here and there. Or we could look at something like Lady. And Lady is just a quadruple energy spinner. Or, if you go back a little bit, double Professor's Letter. And to be fair, Lady really has not seen a huge amount of play at all. Just being a double item card isn't good enough. So where does that leave us with this? It leaves us with a card that on the face of it looks really good. And it's a turn too slow. If it was double Wally, it would be like full on broken. And I still think people are going to play it. I still think it's a good consistency card. I still think it's great for searching out your evolutions. And I still think being able to just instantly drop a single supporter and instantly get two Pokemon you need is a good thing. I'm just a little bit worried, ladies and gentlemen. But hey-ho, I'm giving it free wossies. This looks like exactly the kind of card you should have in your binder just in case it ever becomes really relevant, just in case you want to put it in a deck. And that is very much my definition of a free wossy card. But I'd like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have pokemon in but are pretty gosh darn awesome nonetheless 
But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.